Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is May 2023, reading for my beautiful Leos. Hello, Leo. Long time no see. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is, of course, a timeless reading for Leo, however. Sun, moon, and rising. And welcome, cross watchers. We know you like to stalk. It is what it is. All are welcome here. All right, Leos, if you've not been to my channel before, I'm going to pull some oracle cards, your current um, current energy, recent past, and incoming. Okay? I'm going to get my spirit guides. One moment, please. Hail and welcome. Welcome to my angels, ancestors, guardians, and interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for Leo. Hail and welcome. All right, Leo, we're in it, right? Okay, let's see. What do we have? Overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Yes, I love this card. So we're going to clarify because you are either feeling overwhelmed. That doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, right? You may have a lot of amazing feelings coming in. It is a number seven. Well, it's a number 43. We're going to reduce that down to seven, which is going to be a card that's talking about an initiatory, um, anything else spirit? One moment, I have to focus. Okay, anything else? Anything else for Leos? One second, please. Anything else from this deck for Leos? Leos May 20, thank you, spirit. I'm so grateful, thank you. Anything else? No. Spirit, that's a lot. All right, we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna take these cards but generally I take one or two and they've busted seven. <laughs> All right. What do you have to say? <clears throat> Let me, okay. I'm going to read these really quickly and then I'm going to like dig deep because generally it's not this many um, cards from this deck, but they go from overflow to the universe is your partner. Oh, I see that your money is good. Caterpillar opportunity, opportunity. Something's coming in for you because the first thing I received for this overflow card was money, like a raise or a new opportunity. Uh, maybe if some of you work for yourself, like a big project incoming, very exciting. Caterpillar right here. Ooh, this reminds me of the Sheshar cat. I know I didn't say that right. I'm a Cuban tarot card reader, like I'm not a linguist. So Caterpillar, <laughs> we're just going to have to get through it together, collective. All right, Leo. Caterpillar, opportunity. I love it. Number four, okay? Four in the classic uh, Rider weight deck is going to be the Emperor energy. So you're building something. You are in control. You've manifested the thing. Um, very calm, methodical, strong, stable energy. And this, to me, feels like you've got a good opportunity coming in. The universe is your partner, in the palm of your hand, working with you, not against you. Dances on one foot. I see a balancing act, sky bridge, possibility for union. Hmm. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom, another number seven. <clears throat> and watchers, transpersonal. Oh, I love this. I'm getting the vibes that you have been working through some karma. And we all have, right? That's what the planetary energies are aligned for. We've just had the lunar eclipse in Aries, right? That was what, um, April 20th or 19th, which is actually when this is being recorded. So um, I've already called in the energies for you in May. So now that you have gotten through this solar eclipse heading into the lunar eclipse of May 5th <clears throat> in Scorpio, you've done a lot of the transformative work, Leo. You've really put the energy and effort into tapping into the lay of the land, that ancestral wisdom. Many of you have found your spirit, um, your spirit tribe, your other star seed family, okay, for lack of a better word. Many of you have decided to uh, get out of the loop that you were in and find something new and exciting. You guys, I said this last time, are Leos, you're that fire sign, the vibrant, the, the, the creative, right? And the universe is waiting for you 
to come out of the whatever funk you've been in, okay, and seize this opportunity. Now, I do see that it is going to be a balancing act, okay, because there is a lot of new energy coming in, Leo, but you are equipped to handle it and transform it into those things that work for you. Yes, possibility for a union. Now, for those of you that are looking for love, this could be that a divine counterpart or union is coming your way. However, for those of you that are building something, it is possible that you are going to come in contact with a business partner, a co-creator, so to speak. And if you pay attention to all of the things happening around you, that co-creator could be AI or it could be a human manifest form. It is hard to tell, but we will find out. I do see that there are big changes coming. Oh, watchers, transpersonal, ancestral wisdom. Absolutely. Okay. So spirit saying, thank you, spirit. Spirit saying to make sure that, um, that you dig deep and follow your intuition. I, I'm going to say this. It's like that vibe of you're being watched. <clears throat> um, Spirit is paying attention. Spirit is paying attention. Let me say this to you, Leo, okay? And I've said this before to uh, to a good friend of mine. Your microphone's always on, okay? Your microphone is always on. So I'm going to give you an example that is more um, accessible. And I'm going to ask that you be open-minded in this message. If you can imagine that your cell phone, people always say that your cell phone tracks you, it records you, it knows what kind of, um, oh, excuse me, it knows what to, what you're talking about, all your electronics, right? Imagine that on a celestial or cosmic level, your microphone is always on. They hear you. We are in a manifestation time. We are in a portal. What you think about, what you speak about, what you write about, they are spells, Leo, okay? <clears throat> And you are in this powerful manifestation mode. There is so much going on cosmically that the best thing I can say to you is that up there in the ethers, there is, <laughs> there is a grand cross. There are things taking place, okay, that are going to pull and anchor. You know, it, yes, you can be pulled and anchored all at the same time. It's happening. Karmic cycles are coming to a close if they are not already out. It's asking you to reevaluate what you're going to do next. And here in May, you've got to just step through that portal. Yes, yes, yes. But your microphone's always on. So be careful what it is that you speak about unless you want to bring that into fruition. That is for sure. All right. Best and brightest, Leo. Current energies. Knight of Cups. Emotional, a little bit. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Hey. One second. Thank you. Two, two and three of Wands. Okay. What This came up upside down. Three of Cups. All right. Last. Anything else, Spirit? Current Energies, Leo. Month of May. Anything? No. All right. Thank you. All right, Leo. Let's hit it. <clears throat> Oh, I misread it. Two of Wands and Ten of Wands. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Leo. All right, so your current energy is kind of like this. I'm getting this vibe that <clears throat> you're trying to lead your decisions more from a heart-centered place. Um, I see that you have been in, um, you know, a little bit more guarded. And so in this time of May, you're being more mindful of your finances. I see that you are ready to try something new, maybe a little bit of travel for some of you. Um, I see some friendships gathering, sense of community. I love it. I see that you are learning to rely on others perhaps um, to enjoy your, not rely on others, but to incorporate others into your day to day. A uh, better way to say that is you're being more social. Sorry, lots of energy in this space. Again, I do see some of you looking to try something new, explore, go somewhere different, um, putting the weight of the world down and like relieving yourself of burdens because that had been closing you off, Leo. 
<clears throat> and I see that you've stepped into this energy of like trying to lead with your heart song. One moment, please. For some of you, you could have a water sign coming in. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. Knight of Cups. This could be um, a new relationship coming in. It doesn't have to be male. It could be male, female. It's just about the energy. This is, um, you know, an emotional an emotional um, person that could be coming in for you, Leo. But don't be closed off. Don't put yourself in this um, self-imposed restrictions, okay? Yes. Because it could be that for some of you, this new opportunity, this new person, this new emotional um, path that you're looking at is going to lead you to, to travel. I really do see that for some of you, you're going somewhere different. I love that. All right. Well, hold on. Let's get some more information for Leo. Yeah. All right. Well, let's look at... Okay. What's this? Page of Swords. Okay. New ideas, new information, something new is incoming. Or I was about to do your recent past, so we're going to have to clarify. What is the recent past for Leo, please? And then we'll, I'll find out where this Page of Swords goes. What is the recent past for Leo? Because I do see like in your, you had that possibility for a union. And I did say it could have been business partner related. So I'm wondering if this page of swords has to do with that as well. One second, please. Recent past, Leo's. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Death. Emperor. Two of Cups. Okay. All right, Leo. So it looks like in your recent past, a couple of things. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio because this is Scorpio showing up, the death card, number 13. All right. But also want to point out that the Emperor came up as well, which is number four. So if you take number 14, sorry, number 13, you reduce that down to number four, it gives off Emperor energies. Because the way I always interpret the death card not just Scorpio, not just transformation, but it's transformation from something that wasn't necessarily to your best and brightest into what I always interpret as the polarity of the death, which is like emperor energy, that you become stable, firm, um, you know, a source of wisdom for others, a source of stability. Um, you know, the emperor has has the knowledge, the wisdom, the strength, the gnosis, the the ability, right? And that often comes from a period of transformation. I do see here that you have the two of cups, eight of wands, 10 of pentacles. So in fairness, what I'm seeing is that there was a desire to maybe transform what was happening in your home. Um, I'm getting for some of you that you had some new information whether it be that you went through a dark night and you had a new perspective and it led you to want to make changes under your roof or wherever it is that you spend most of your time and with whom. So this Ten of Pentacles energy is telling me that recently you may have found that person that leads you to, um, to feel fulfilled, this divine union in this Ten of Cups. This Eight of Wands is a card of movement. It can be a card of moving away from something stable into the unknown because a change is required. Um, it could also be that you're looking for something stable so that you recently left or a physical move. In this case, I do see that recently that a new relationship had been taking place or a new, um, what's it called? Like a passion reignited in your current relationship. So that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, <clears throat> let me look at this. Yeah, but the Eight of Wands, there was a lot of a lot of um, action that had to take place to get you to that um, to that next level. Because we went from that, you know. Or to be honest, let me see. Also, I'm gonna have to clarify because for some of you that are not in a relationship it was really about finding someone new like you had this new incoming energy recently let's see what's what's this 
Um, what's incoming for Leo? It, yeah, let me let me get a. I'm getting a few mixed messages here. Let me just get some incoming information for Leo, please. Incoming, incoming energies for Leo in May. Incoming energies for Leo. Thank you, Spirit, for Leos in May. Right, let's clarify this energy that you are weaving in and out of Leo. Thank you. All right, Two of Swords energy. Karma. King of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Eight of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. I'm so grateful. All right, so to clarify, Leo, it looks like there are some challenges coming your way. However, it's about how you choose to see them, right? Because these are always going to be gifts if you choose to step into it that way. Because the universe will remove those things from your life that are no longer serving you. For some of you, it, it does seem that recently you found yourself in this renewal energy in a relationship, whether it be that you have a new relationship recently in April um, or a newfound passion in your current relationship. And in this period of transformation from April to May heading into June, okay, you may find that new information is provided to you and you may actually change your mind about the direction you're headed in. Um, you may be in a position that you are looking for something more stable with more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? With more promise. Um, I do see you a little bit closed off and standing your ground in your relationship. Um, and this Eight of Cups, you know, is really just this person wishing for, I, it always reminds me of the star card, right? Like just the, this healing, this transformative energy, um, you know, she's, she's walking away from eight cups and walking towards this unknown, um, you know, because she's, her mind is in the, in the cosmos and the stars and the, oh, I wish I had, I, you know, I wish upon a star type energy. Um, because standing your ground and yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up that standing your ground, um, in, in the months of April and May might bring in this energy of conflict for you. However, I do see that it is going to bring you into your best and brightest and is going to clarify those things that weren't serving you in your current or new relationship. It is going to shine that karmic, um, what's it called? It's going to lay the karma to rest. That's what these planetary energies are about. We are as a species breaking out of karmic cycles, okay, Leo? So there might be some things that you have to revisit in May to clear up any past um, energies so that you can move forward, okay? Because I do see that you are looking for more stability um, in your day to day. And I do see, again, like I said, you've got some very promising things coming up on the financial front. So, um, all Zodiac signs, again, it's the planetary energies are going through a period of, um, just, I, I what's the word? I keep wanting to say like revolution. Um, there's a shakeup in the home. There's a shakeup in the money. That's everybody, all right? And if you are finding yourself at a crossroads with any of those things, it's going to require you to lean into your intuition so that you know which steps to, to um, take moving forward. Excuse me. I don't know, Leo, I'm getting this energy of options, right? So let's see. Let, Spirit, that's too many. All right, another deck, what? Okay, let's go here. These cards have a tendency to fly everywhere, so let's pray for the best. All right, let's clarify Leo energy for me, please. Clarify Leo, incoming May, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay. The Empress came out. All right. Empress. 
that's that's you stepping into it. You stepping into manifestation mode, making it happen, creation mode, working with the land, mm, birthing something new, fertility. What else for Leo? What else for Leo? Leo, I, I keep getting this, this situation of having to move, your money's good, reevaluating a relationship, leaving things behind. Some of you might be getting a promotion that's going to require you to travel or move, maybe, which might require you to shake up the relationship you're in or the one that you're considering. That might be a little specific, but that's what I'm picking up. Travel is going to require movement. Eight of Swords again. Hmm. Leo, this is about um, self-imposed boundaries, being closed off, drawing a line in the sand. In the sand. Um, all right. What else? What else, Spirit? Let's clarify. What else is coming in for Leo? All right. The Fool, that's about starting over, another major arcana card. All right, starting over, taking a fresh perspective on something. Page of Pentacles. Okay, maybe a new business opportunity, message for something. A new idea. Uh -huh. Let me see. A new project, a new job, new clients. You uh, uh, oh. Come back, come back. That's too many. Well, I'll take these. All right, thank you, Spirit. We've got Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords. Y'all, listen. Queen of Swords, that's, that's cold energy. Nine of Swords, laying up at night, you know, like letting the thing marinate. Page of Swords, you had this twice now, Page of Swords twice. New information, new ideas. Leo, it's very possible that <clears throat> here in May, again, the planetary energies are such that you're going to be placed in a position to reevaluate those things that maybe aren't working for you um, in your home or in your business. And it looks like to me that this is going to be very successful because whatever it is that you had, whatever barrier you were experiencing that was keeping you up at night, that was um, that was bothering you, it seems to me that a new perspective, a new idea, a new way of plucking this chicken, so to speak, is coming your way. And so it's going to give you that freedom to cut that which did not serve you and place it over there where it doesn't, you know, doesn't bother you anymore so that you can focus on building a new you, a new life, a new hope, a new desire. I really do feel very strongly that there is a successful venture coming your way. In business, I do see that for many of you, it's going to be about a, um, and I know I'm not using the cards. I, I don't really rely on them as much as you all think I do. So <clears throat> my messages are channeled mostly. So this full energy is about you taking a leap of faith and doing something new. For some of you, it could be in love and business. I do see a team, a co-creation coming together. And again, I got to tell you, I'm not sure that this two of cups is resonating for everybody as love. I am picking up a strong business relationship, a new venture, co-creation. Um, it's going to require you to make changes. I think this came up for a couple of signs, actually, maybe Virgo, but it's going to Capricorn it was. It's going to require you to make some changes to take the leap of faith. And it's going to be a little scary, but I see it turning out for you. I do. Leo, I see it turning out for you. A new perspective, a new way of looking at things, new information that's coming your way is going to allow you to, to just finally rest. These swords are laying behind this person, right? The fight's over. Now you maybe are just um, reliving it and it's not necessary, truly. You're going to have to do Queen of Swords energy and cut off that, um, that which doesn't serve you. You've got a lot of great stuff coming in, Leo. A lot of great things. Um, 
you know, I am getting that energy that if you are looking to stabilize a relationship that you are in, um, it is going to require you to take a different perspective in how you handle yourself and what you expect in your relationship. Okay, so let's get some more messages for my Leos, please. Anything else for, okay, that's too many. Let's one more time, Spirit. What can Leo focus on? Not these, okay. Excuse me one second. These, thank you. Anything else for Leo? All right, they want me to pull from, okay. They want me to pull three more cards, one from each of these decks. So one moment while I just do that. They said middle of the deck on each. So they want me to do this one, perfect. One second, middle of the deck, perfect. One moment, middle of the deck, thank you. Okay, now to wrap things up, Leo, because I do sense a lot of changes coming, a lot of reevaluation, okay? Water Guardian, Spirit's asking you to get in touch with your emotions. I love this card, but for you, Leo, sometimes that can be a little rough, right? You're such a fire sign. You're very creative, passionate, sparks everywhere. Spirit's asking you to get in touch with your water, right? Slow it down a little bit. Get in touch with your intuition. You're going to have to go with the flow. There's a lot of changes, and you're going to need to be in that, in that uh, vibrational flow, that drip. Go with the current. Wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. Okay, Leo, Spirit's telling you right here, get involved with community work, community service, uh, manifest for others as much as you manifest for yourself. Perhaps put yourself on the back burner and put others ahead of you. You are a light worker, right? And people look to you for your creativity, your gifts, your fire, your passion. And whether you realize it or not, that's infectious when used in the right way. When a Leo is in their highest vibe, it's infectious. So get out there and do what it is that you enjoy. And think of it as a service to others, Leo. Your bright light is merely a service to others. We live for it. We love it. Yes. Waiting for, waiting, wanting more for others puts me in an energy of abundance. And this I love. Watch for the cosmic wink. That's right. The universe flirts too, Leo. Magic comes when spirit winks at us. Stay aware of synchronicities that provide unexpected answers. Positive forces are always at play in your life. If we take this card and we go back to the beginning, I love when spirit wraps it up for us. In the hand, the universe is your partner, right? The universe is conspiring, Leo, for you, not against you. And that is like so important when you can just think, it's, it's like having a comfort that is always there if you choose to tap into it. The biggest nurturer that exists is Mother Earth. She's here for you, right? When you feel that pull to do it, to say it, to act on it, of course, stop, pause. Is it in the highest and best for all involved? Is it going to propel everyone forward? Just you? What's the right thing to do? After you kind of evaluate that pool to do the thing, universe will give you um, signs, right? Maybe you start seeing repetitive numbers. One, two, three, two, 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 six, 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 five, five, five. Maybe the time. Maybe you see, you know, cars everywhere. Whenever I am in a flow state, the universe sends me a, a car that I'm looking to purchase. The universe sends me that car and it just will get in front of me in the, in the, um, <clears throat> on the highway. I'll get behind me. You know, if I'm in the wrong vibe, I might see that same car, but a busted up version of it. And, and I have to laugh. So truly the universe will send you all the synchronicities. You might be thinking of someone and next thing you know, they call. Um, that's a sign. So don't dismiss these things, Leo. Remember, no matter how whacked out it feels, the universe is working to help you step into it. With the right intention, will, and desire, you can manifest anything. 
Consider others as you move forward with all of your powers, all of your gifts, and all of your starlight, and you will live in this high vibration that will attract all of these amazing things as long as you stay in touch with your emotions. Be intuitive, read the room, feel those people around you, be kind to yourself and each other. Oh, Leo, you've got some work ahead of you because you've got a lot of thinking to do about what the universe is gonna ask you to reevaluate. But at the end of the day, all of these decisions that you're about to make will affect and impact you for the foreseeable 12 to 16 months, okay? Because it is going to be some business decisions, some decisions about moving and romance. The universe is here to help you get in touch with your emotions. You're going to be guided with synchronicities. You're going to be guided with random, you know, acts of conversation and things like that. And the answers will come. I am excited for you, Leo. I am excited. The more you tap in, the more you're going to get out of it. So if you enjoyed this message, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. But more importantly, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it, Leo. Until next time, shine brightly.